Hi everyone, welcome back to another Easy Links Live. I'm your host, Ryan Bukema, and on today's show, today we're going to be covering some really cool topics. First off, I'll be showing you guys the help widget. For those of you who aren't aware, we have a consolidated space up in the workspace where you can click this little icon and this nice little cool widget pops up and it provides you with step-by-step -step instructions on maybe how to send an e-signature document or how to access EasyLinks Connect in a vendor, how to set up an integration. Really, really powerful tool. I use it all the time when I'm trying to figure out how to demo stuff here for uh, EasyLinks Live. So really cool thing, we'll look at that. The next thing we're gonna talk about today um, is gonna be the Digital Habits article that was referenced in this month's NewsLinks article. So uh, there's three things that have pretty much been proven to be pretty permanent and here to stay with respect to digital habits. Uh, I wanna talk about those digital habits and I wanna be able to relate them to one of the cool features that we have coming out this release uh, uh, here in uh, Q2. And the feature is gonna be our automatic change request confirmation. This is a really neat feature. It removes some of the manual steps that you had to do in the past whenever you were looking at downloaded change requests coming in and then having to confirm those. So pretty cool feature. We'll talk about that here in a bit. And then finally, I wanna wrap up by showing you guys one of our new integrations that we have in EasyLinks Connect. We have an integration right now with Grip, which is an amazing vendor that provides really good coverage for cellular devices. Uh, another kind of upsell point that you can maybe get with some of your insureds on the phone. So we'll take a look at those things. But first off, like I said, let's take a look at the help widget. Now, <clears throat> you always want to be able to have a means where you can go into a system and be able to look up training material or documentation on how to see something without having to call support. I mean, sometimes that can take time, right? I always like to have stuff at my fingertips that I can go in, see how to do something, and then I can continue with my day. And the help widget helps you do that. It's really, really fascinating and powerful tool. So let's pull up EasyLinks real quick. Let's show everybody the help widget, and then let's show some changes that we made over in the actual support section menu that I maybe just want to point out to you guys. So real quick, the help widget, let's take a look. So the EasyLinks homepage, which we're all very familiar with, um, first off, what I want to direct your attention to is, is the main thing that's really, really important, which is the help widget. And if you haven't seen it, it's right up here in the top right corner. So if you click on it, you can actually select from uh, articles that are already pulled up, some of our knowledge base, or like I said, you can look up something. So for example, you, I wanna figure out how e-signature works, frequently asked questions. How do I create or send an e-signature envelope? Maybe I wanna look at, uh, uh, let's say, clearant. Payment processing, how do I set up the payment processor? How do I get it all enabled and set up? So all this information as to how to maybe do things in the system, how to be able to maybe get some quick training material, it's all right here in this really helpful widget uh, that makes it very simple to get questions answered really, really quick. Now, let's say you maybe wanted to get some additional learning or figure out some more stuff. If you come all the way over here to the support section, We've got a couple of really cool things to show you. One thing is we've updated our training section. We now have training videos. So if you click on that, it's actually going to direct you to our YouTube page and all of our training material, all right here. Really, really cool stuff. And this is all of the training videos that they've been working really hard on. So our team has gone in and created a lot, uh, some new videos for you guys uh, that are updated with some of the updated system stuff. Uh, so you're not having to look at some of those outdated videos that may show the old e EasyLinks UI. It's all updated stuff. So really, really good things here. Another thing that you can also do here in the support widget, um, or the side menu rather, is if you scroll up right there with, web, yeah, there you go, webinars. Let's say you want to take a training uh, and you want to be able to learn some stuff, then you can take different trainings. We have highlights of like, say for example, that's direct billing commissions for member agencies. How's that work? Go ahead and register. Uh, quoted personal lines for ratings. These are webinars that are run that you can set up, that you can register for, uh, that you can get more information and just attend a training if you want to. So a lot of really cool things that we've done in the system, but really important, don't forget utilize this help widget. It can definitely help save you time when you're trying to troubleshoot something or try to figure out how something works in the system. Like I said, I use it all the time when I'm in here trying to figure out uh, like a connect integration, how do you set it up, how do you turn it on. It's really, really, really great powerful tool that we have. So 
So this month in our News Links article, we highlighted three key areas where digital habits are kind of here to stay, right? And one of the things that it talks about at the very beginning of the article is going to be your agency's website. Uh, and that you shouldn't view it as just an online image. Instead, you should view your agency website as your agency. Most commerce and most customer servicing, it's moved to an online realm. So your insureds, your customers, expect you to have a really powerful online presence. And that's what's highlighted in the article. So the idea of your image uh, for your agency's online site online customer service, social selling. These are all really important items that are detailed in that article. And in EasyLinks, when you think about it, we've, you can leverage Client Center to help promote 24-7 self-service. We've talked about that a lot in some of our prior uh, EasyLinks lives. Uh, we used to have almost, it, said, it seemed like for like two or three of them, we almost did like, a, like a, at the end of every show, we talked about Client Center, the power of Client Center, right? Um, but this is a really powerful tool, and it goes back to that article when it talks about online self-service. Client Center provides that for your insureds. It allows your insureds to, uh, at any time of the day, look at their policy information. It allows them to get an ID card or generate certificates. It allows them to make payments. Uh, they can view additional insurance uh, products. So, for example, that's kind of social selling, if you think about it. Uh, they could look at an integration with Back9 and be like, hey, I, I don't have life insurance. Uh, I, I'll click this. Maybe I want to get life insurance. This seems like a cool thing. You know, and it also helps with, say, the change request process. Your insurers can go into Client Center and submit a change request, which then creates a task for you. You get to go in and look at it. And that's what I really want to touch base on today is change requests. Now, we all know that change requests can be a little daunting. There could be a lot of manual steps involved. So, for example, um, you get the change request from the insured. You submit it, you wait for the change request download to come in, the download comes in, then you have to go and check to make sure that the change request is correct, that everything matches up, and then after that, you have to go in and confirm it, right? So there's a lot of manual steps there that eat up your day, eat up the time in your day, and time, that's our biggest asset. We wanna always have time. So anything that can be automated and help that process and make it more seamless and easier for our customers to get the things done that they need, that's a huge win for us, right? That's a, that's a big plus. So the automatic change request confirmation that we have coming out, that's gonna help you get your time back. That's gonna help automate some of these steps for you. So real quick, um, I wanna pull up Easy Links again. Let's get back in there and I wanna show off this new cool feature that we have, the automatic change request confirmation, show you guys what it is, talk about how it works real fast. So we'll start, yeah, here we go. This is actually a better place. We'll start actually on the policy. So. Let's, let's talk about change requests. We all know how it works, right? Uh, an insured can go through Client Center and submit a change request, which you'll get notified of. You'll get a task for it. Or you as the agent can come in and manually enter a change request on the policy <clears throat> so that you can then send the information off to the carrier and wait for them to send you a policy change download back. Now, this new feature, what it actually does is it'll go in Okay, and it will manually compare the change request that you've entered versus the policy change that has been downloaded. And if everything matches, then we will automatically confirm the request uh, and basically put in the confirmation for you. So if we come here to the count overview page, obviously we can see that there's a change request that's been put into the system. Now, let's say, for example, that the policy uh, uh, downloaded change request that comes in is different than the one that you've submitted. If that happens, if that's indeed the case, if we go over to the task, we'll see that the system creates a task for you letting, letting you know to go in and take a look at it. Go look at the change request, see what's maybe different in it, and if it's okay, then you can go in, of course, and then manually close it out. But the point here is that with this automatic check for you guys, with the automatic change request confirmation, it helps save you time, right? We're gonna go in, we're gonna compare what was submitted versus what we received in the download. And if it matches, we'll close it out and confirm it for you so you don't have to take, waste time doing that. And let's face it, time is extremely important for everybody. We all wanna be able to get more time back in our day so that we can focus on more important revenue generating tasks. But this is a cool thing that's uh, 
kind of been out for a little while now. It's been under the radar. We, a couple of agencies have utilized it. With this release, we're going to be rolling it out to everybody. We're really excited to be able to get this cool automated functionality into your hands so that this online servicing process can be a lot smoother and can both benefit your insureds because they get a more timely response, and it can benefit you because you get more time back by having these mundane kind of remedial tasks of having to check these things done for you, all knocked out and out of the way. Now, if you've been watching our Easy Links live shows, you'll know that one of the things that we talk about quite a bit on the show is Easy Links Connect. Easy Links Connect is our platform that allows you to integrate with third party vendors in order to get different solutions met at your agency. So during these shows, we love to highlight some of our new Connect integrations. And it just so happens with this release, we do want to talk about one of our connections that had recently gone out. And it's our new integration with Grip. Grip is going to be a provider that allows for coverage on your cell phone. So if you drop your phone, if, uh, if you break it, you can go through Grip. Uh, you can get, have an insurance policy on your phone. I think it's up to 10 devices. We'll take a look in a minute. Um, and you can get coverage. This is great for agencies because it's another thing that you can add to the, to the basket with your insureds and organically grow them as a customer. Okay, so let's take a look real quick. Let's get Connect pulled up. And if you didn't tune in last time, we did show you guys the really cool new redesign we did of EasyLinks Connect. It's super simple, easy to see things. So we'll, we'll also look at that if you didn't see it. It's really neat. The, the, the new Connect, EasyLinks Connect Marketplace looks amazing. So let's get Connect Marketplace pulled up real quick here. So for those of you who aren't aware, uh, if you haven't attended some of the last five or six EasyLinks lives, um, we have a new, a new section in EasyLinks called our EasyLinks Connect platform, which allows us to integrate with third-party vendors to provide different solutions uh, for your agency. So to access that area, just come down here to where the little plug-in is, and we've updated this menu as of our last release. Um, so you'll be able to really quickly jump, jump right into your integrations, anything that's been disabled. If you have branches uh, and you're sitting at the top, then you can configure integrations for your branches. But... Let's first go to the home, which is the home page for the marketplace. So really slick, cool design. Before we get into looking at grip device insurance, I just want to show you this page. So we've made some huge enhancements to this page, if you didn't see them last time. We have uh, new integrations just right at the top, so they're easy to see. We have cross-sell options. We have communication options, uh, customer engagement, financial, client center things that show up in client center that your insureds can use. And there's also so, uh, software and services. So for example, if you wanted to look at the Outlook integration or get set up with a, a cool program that we have with Office 365 uh, and get a license from us through them and get a nice little discount. Um, we have all these different integrations right here uh, in the Connect Marketplace. And what's nice about it is that we have a very simple search. So we're gonna talk about Grip here in a minute, but if I just type in Grip, boom, it pulls right up. Uh, so very easy to navigate now, easy to find things, easy to be able to get them set up and turned on. And we're constantly making improvements here in the EasyLinks Connect marketplace. So let's go ahead, go ahead and click on uh, Grip Device Insurance. So what this is, is it helps generate revenue. It doesn't cost you anything to be able to utilize this integration. Uh, and like it says right there, uh, it does uh, insure up to 10 devices in just three easy steps. And those three easy steps are actually getting set up with submitting the information, doing the binding, and then getting everything written out. But let's go into the integration real quick. There's some things that I want to kind of point out to you first. Um, in order to utilize the integration, you must be contracted with Cell uh, Brokerage Grip to bind policies. To do that, all you got to do is click on this little link. It's going to direct you to another page. You fill out your agent information below, and then that starts the process of getting you set up. Once you are set up, and you've gone through and gotten the appointment with them, they will send you an email which will have a, a nine-digit code in it. You'll need that nine-digit code whenever you're going to be setting up the, uh, uh, the actual integration here in the EasyLink. So what does GRIP provide? Once again, huge benefits, right? Helps uh, premium savings compared to a lot of the other providers out there. It's a neat way to bundle and save, so you can roll up to 10 different devices, these cell devices, so if, they, um, if, uh, the, if you drop them, um, if they're stolen, um, if uh, uh, the water damage, 
Um, it's a really quick and easy way to get a replacement out to you. You just fill out the claim, and a lot of it, it's like they said, a lot of it's next day. Um, so this is an amazing thing that you can offer uh, your actual insureds um, so that whenever they're uh, maybe wanting to make sure that that cell phone, that which costs a ton of money nowadays, I mean, they're almost as much as like a computer, <laughs> if you think about it. Um, but if they want to have coverage on that, so if something happens to it, they can just get another one. This is a great thing that you can uh, turn them onto. And at the same time, it's something else that helps generate a little revenue for your agency, right? We've talked about with Connect before there's a different integration. We go back, just click on home, there we go. Um, there's different integrations to help you with cross-selling, such as Back9, Flood Risk Solutions, uh, uh, ADT, which is a very easy integration to work with. There's all these different options that we have uh, here in Connect that can help you guys generate more revenue uh, for your agency. So definitely come here to uh, EasyLinks, the Connect page. Um, check out the GRIP integration. If you're not signed up, it's really, really simple to get signed up, and then boom, you can start binding some of these uh, really cool policies uh, for your insurance. And there you have it. Uh, before we go, though, uh, I did want to point out something that was in the NewsLinks article. Uh, we mentioned the referral program. Uh, you know, our sales folks love referrals, just like all sales folks do. And plus, it can also get you some money. Uh, it's a really easy thing to find. So if you go to the EasyLinks website, like we can pull up real quick here. Here we go. So at the very bottom of the page, there's that icon. Uh, that's the referral icon. If you click on that, it's going to take you to the referral page. Fill out some of the information in there, and then after you're done, you'll submit it. Uh, we'll go out and try to get those people converted over into EasyLinks, and if it pans out, you can get some money. And there's some stipulations at the very bottom about how the referral bonus will work, but hey, any money is good money, and if you can help somebody get onto the EasyLink system and they can enjoy all the cool stuff you are, there you go. <laughs> Why not? Um, well, so that's our show for today. That's all we've got. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed it, found it useful. Uh, we'll see y'all next time, guys. Have a great day. Bye.